Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about the basic and dynamic disk in Windows Server. Here you can see to test this, I have added a 8 GB disk and uh, it is showing here. So, first, what we will do, we have to make it online. Right click on the left side where it is showing the disk 0 and then click on online. Now, initialize the disk. Uh, you can select MBR GPT. Here I will select the GPT. Now you can see the disk is by default converted to the basic disk. Now we can create a partition. You can see partition completed and uh, drive letter e is assigned to this volume. So, if you go to the my computer or this PC, you can see E drive is showing here and here, here you can create folder and file also. This is the way we can convert a disk to basic and from that disk we can create a uh, volume or partition. Now, we will try to convert the basic disk to the dynamic disk. Right click on the basic. Then convert to dynamic disk. You can convert the disk 0 to dynamic disk. You can see some warning is there. The operation you select selected will convert the selected basic disk to dynamic disk. If you convert the disk to dynamic, you will not able to start install operating system from any volume on the disk. That means whenever you convert a uh, basic to dynamic disk using the disk you cannot install the operating system okay no problem because in our server and the uh, this one is used for the operating system volume so we can proceed with yes you can see dynamic disk is converted from the basic disk okay this is the way we can use to convert a basic disk to dynamic disk now what we will do we will go reverse uh, we will try to convert the dynamic disk to the basic disk right click on the uh, disk 0, you can see convert to basic is uh, grayed out here. That means it is not enabled. You cannot convert the uh, dynamic disk to basic disk whenever there is a uh, volume present or the, whenever there is a partition present. So, for that, what we have to do? We have to delete the partition, delete the volume, and please remember whenever we will delete the volume, all data will also delete. Deleting the volume will erase all data on it. Backup any data. When to keep before deleting? Do you want to continue? Yes. Because this is not a production server, this is a test server. We can go with the yes option. You can see uh, volume deleted. Now convert to dynamic disk is uh, sorry by default. The disk is converted to the basic disk. Now we can create a partition and we can use it. So, if you go to the this PC, you can see E volume is there, but there is no data previously you have created. So, this is the way from basic disk, uh, from a new disk, how you can create a basic disk and using that disk, how you can create a volume and from basic disk, how you can create a, uh, how you convert a basic disk to dynamic disk. But whenever we will convert the dynamic disk to a basic disk, we have to delete the volume present there. So, please be sure. Whenever converting a basic disk to dynamic disk, you have to uh, be sure that in future there will be not required to convert the dynamic disk to the basic disk again. Please be sure so that in future uh, there will be no chance of deletion of data. Okay. Now, what we will do? We will convert this disk to uh, dynamic disk and uh, try to expand the dynamic disk. Convert this one. Create a now what we'll do? We'll try to expand this disk. Sometimes what happens? We have converted the basic disk to dynamic disk, and after uh, afterwards, uh, whenever more space required in that volume, we have to expand that volume. How we'll do that? Now go to the virtual machine setting. Here, go to the machine setting and select the hard disk.
here it is not showing what we have to do we have to shut down the machine here expand action not available uh, for that we have to shut down the machine shut down select the virtual machine go to the machine setting and select the disk expand expand it to 10 gp expand ok ok now start the machine Open the computer management, go to the disk management. Here you can see 2 GB added here. Now I will try to expand the disk. Right click on the volume E, select the extend volume, click next, click next here because we are trying to expand the volume disk uh, 0. So, here this 0 is selected and we are trying to extend the 2 GB space. So, everything is correct here. Click next, click finish. You can see volume extended. So, this is the way we can extend a dynamic volume also. So, I hope this video is very helpful for you. In this video, we have learned that how to create a basic disk and how to using that basic disk, uh, we can create a new volume and uh, how to convert a basic disk to dynamic disk and dynamic disk to a basic disk and how we can expand a dynamic disk. These points we have discussed in this video. So friends, if this video is helpful for you, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment and thanks for watching.